Hey everybody, I'm Compton EMT and welcome to the Disc Jam Beginner's Guide. I'm going to quickly go over a few basics as well as a few tips to get you started in your Disc Jam career. First, let's go over the controls. You can throw a disc, you can lob a disc, you can do quick curves, and your throw and lob also double as block and slide. Use the block to pop a disc up in the air, or if you can't get to a disc, use the slide to get that extra little punch you need to get there. In 2v2, you can also pass, and I suggest you use it. One of the biggest questions that new players have is how to do super throws. So the way that you do a super throw is if you block it up in the air or if your opponent lobs it at you, a circle will appear on the ground. You can stand in that circle and once you charge up enough before catching the disc, you'll be granted a super throw. There are three types of super throws. The first is the basic super throw, which you select in the customization option. Currently, we only have Pythagoras and Zed. More coming soon. The next one that you can do is is a super lob. This will lob it to the back line in a super fast kind of tire motion. The last super throw you can do is the saw blade. Using your quick curve buttons, you can go ahead and throw it directly at the wall and it will slide right down the wall into the end zone. The last thing with controls is a stuff block. It's not exactly an input, but if you're close enough to the net and you block, you'll send the disc right back to your opponent's side. Next, we have characters. There are currently only two, more coming soon, like Haruka, the fast ninja. But with the two that we have, McKenna and Stanton, there are a few differences. McKenna is a faster running speed. Stanton throws the disc faster. McKenna can do curves easier and controls the disc better, while Stanton slides faster and further than McKenna. When it comes to gameplay, the point system is based off of how long the rally goes. The more times the disc is touched, the more points the rally is worth. Once a player scores 50 points in a set, they win that set. Games are best of three sets. At the end of a match, there is a rematch option. Make sure you press that button so you can get as many games as possible with your opponent. Now, on to throwing. Much like fighting games, you have a button to press and a movement you have to do on your control stick. The main difference is, in a fighting game, you do the control stick movement and then press your button. In Disc Jam, you press the button and then do your movement. The starting location from when you press your button is which direction the disc will come out. The way you actually do curves is once pressing the button, you rotate your stick and that will make the actual disc curve in the air. There are three basic curves that you should probably start with as a beginner. The first is a hard hop. It's a hard inside curve that will ricochet off the wall and back to the other side. There's what's called the pure filth. It is an outside curve that won't touch the wall and will go to the opposite corner of the court. The last one that you should probably know is called the wall ride. When standing next to the wall, you can actually skip it off of the wall and into the end zone. One thing to notice with the wall ride, and this will actually change later and will be more apparent, is that the disc actually tilts a little bit further than a normal curve. It tilts approximately at a 45 degree angle. When throwing the disc, the faster you tap the button after you catch it will make the disc move faster, all the way up until getting a perfect where the disc will actually turn purple. Once you do three perfects in a row, you will be juiced. Juiced throws move substantially faster than regular throws. Of note, if you slide into a throw, you will most likely not be able to get a perfect. Lob ranges as well can go anywhere on the court depending on where you are pushing your stick. If you want to throw it short into the corner, hold down and into the side that you want to throw it. Now on to a few beginner's tips. So first, I always want to note that you need to be resetting to the serving circle. This will allow you to get to pretty much any disc thrown in the game. You should also use quick curves to try to avoid stuff blocks, or if you're standing next to the wall, it'll give a huge long arc. One thing to note about the quick curves is they will always go to the center, so if you're defending them and see one, start moving towards the center. When in doubt, slide, but don't always slide. Like I mentioned before, sliding can keep you from getting that perfect throw. The best way to deal with the supers you know, they're all a little different. The wall ride, you want to stay at the vertical midline and near the back of the court. That'll allow you to actually move to either side they throw it on and be able to get there. 
With the lob, you want to time your slide. Slide into it as it's about to land, but don't slide into the end zone as they will still score. For the normal super throws, probably your best option is either to run forward blocking or to slide directly forward to try to catch the disc. Lastly, use lobs to stop juice. It's really hard to get a perfect off of a lob, so if you're finding your opponents getting juice often, throw those lobs out. Anyways, this has been Compton EMT for the Disc Jam Beginner's Guide. Remember to jump into the official Disc Jam Discord as well as jump on the Steam discussions. Go ahead and check out the dev stream every Thursday at 2 p.m. Pacific. Once again, GMT minus 8. Check out my stream as well as all of the other community streams around. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a like, give me a subscribe, and go ahead and share it with your friends. Thank you and happy jamming.